Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, March 22nd. There could be some good news related to a relationship or a family member. You could be coming out of a period of darkness, starting to feel a little bit better. Maybe your faith is being restored. Still struggling though. Still struggling, struggling, resisting some sort of change for some reason. Still resisting, holding on. But you're being called to look at things from a new perspective. Maybe there's a new offer of love and you're just being called to have faith in it. That's what it looks like to me. You know, it's scary, right? Sometimes it's scary to let a new person into your life after you've been disappointed. I think that's what this is. It's what it looks like. Yeah, it's like you may reject an offer of love because you may feel like you, you're not worthy or you don't trust, trust them, okay? I think there's been some sort of disappointment in love, and so there's a loss of faith. I, I have lost faith in love at this time. You know, so you may reject an offer that, you know, you could be dealing with somebody who has really good intentions, but you can't see that. You know, and things may be happening just a little too quickly, too too quick for it to be comfortable, okay? You may receive a message today or a text or something, an email um, from a new love prospect, okay? Um, let's see what the next card is. But, you know, you may be afraid to to let them in, you know? If you've been independent for a while and on your own, you may be afraid to to let this person in. But it feels like with this hey man right above here that you are being called to look at this from a new perspective. I think there is some offer of love here and you are being called to be open to this, to be, you know, to have faith, to have faith in this new um prospect because you know why why hold on to disappointment and loss you deserve to be loved right I mean you do but it feels like somebody may not be deserve they may feel like they're not deserving they somebody's feeling not worthy there's a lack of self-worth here and you are being called to remember your worth Okay, you, this, you know, I know that it's been a struggle and it hasn't been easy and there's been a lot of loss and disappointment and whatnot, but it feels that you need to, to look at this from a new light, look at this from a new perspective, seriously, you know, because I think there's an opportunity here for a new connection that could blossom, but you are going to have to let go of your old fears and your old disappointments. But there's a lack of self-worth. So, you know, you are worthy. You do deserve. And it feels like you feel like you don't deserve. You do deserve. You might not even know what you deserve. You're afraid of commitment. Somebody here is afraid of commitment. They're afraid of commitment because somebody let them down. But you have a new opportunity here. You have an opportunity for a new partnership that could be very, very exciting. You know, you're being, this is like a dare. Do you dare? Do you dare to go down the new path? Do you dare to accept this new partner? Or do you want to focus your energy on the past? I think there's a new door opening for you and you are being called to go through the new door.
But you may not have the strength to do it, right? You may not. Lack of confidence, lack of courage. Because of an old commitment that didn't work out. Somebody didn't see your worth. And so they've made you feel unworthy. And now you're being called to stop resisting a new, a new beginning, a new partner, a new doorway. You know, why are you resisting the new? I mean, the new isn't the old. It's time to be, take back control of your life. Take a risk. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aries. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like there is a new opportunity being offered to you. You could have received a message. Okay, you could have received a message from somebody, you know, that's offering maybe, you know some sort of connection, you know, a loving connection, but your past disappointments and your past loves are haunting you, the past commitment that didn't work out. So I feel like you're afraid, you're afraid to go down this new path because you lack self-worth, okay? But I feel like you will should be receiving a message today, yesterday, tomorrow, the next couple of days, um... You know, with an offer, and I think it's an offer of, uh, you know, a loving connection. But you are struggling right now with your worth. But this is where you're going to focus your energy. You're going to focus your energy on the past, or you're going to focus it on the future. I think you've reached a fork in the road, and it's time to make a decision here. It's also time for a change. It's time to bring structure back to your life. It's time to do the right thing for you, and I think it's time to take a risk. I think this person that is offering to you is probably very stable and secure. And you know, with the tower, it's like this there's some sort of event that's a blessing in disguise that comes in to change your life. So I feel like there's something that is happening. You could receive something that is really coming or this this lack of commitment, this loss that you've been through with this 5 of cups it really was a blessing in disguise because I feel like there's whoever this person is, is stable and secure. And you may not even see it because you are being called to look at things from a new perspective. This person that is communicating with you is stable and secure. And you are being called to look at this past loss as a blessing in disguise. And, you know, this three of swords, it's time to let go of the sorrow. This is reversed. Okay. It's time to let go of this sorrow. This is also about forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed. Forgive the past and move on. I feel like for many of you, there's a new doorway opening and you're afraid to go through it. Like I said, this leads to a solid... I mean, this person is stable and secure. This is the Ace of Pentacles. It says Ace of Rings. This person that is communicating with you, that is trying to communicate with you, that wants to probably, you know, start some loving connection with you, is stable and secure, and it leads to something solid if you would give them a chance. If you are in a coupled relationship, then whatever you have, I think it's, I think it's solid. Okay, I do. I think it's solid. It's time to let go of past hurts. I feel like it's time to forgive and move on. It's time to bring back structure to your life. Let go of the past hurts. Let them go. Let them go. It's time to go through a new, a new doorway. It is. There's a new door opening for you if you would just see things from a new perspective. 
we're gonna get one of these this time. I feel like there's a, you know, there was or there is. There was or there is some sort of breakdown, uh, breakup, um, something like that, that has, um, that has changed your life. And now you are being called to move past it and realize what you're worth. Everything happens for a reason. I think that there's a new opportunity for love here that leads to something very solid, stable, and secure. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. Yes, think positive. This is looking at things from a new perspective. Stop resisting this change. The past is the past. Whatever broke down was meant to broke down, break down so that you could find this new partner. Think positive. I feel like there's a positive connection here that somebody may be rejecting because they don't see their worth. I would give it a shot if I was you. Talk to you later.